<laughs> Russia's in. <laughs> How are you doing, Ross? I'm good, yeah, fitting well. Amazing outfit. Well, I prefer scruff gear, really, paint-covered clothes, but there you go. Well, then why didn't you come in your painting overalls? Well, I'm going on to a function after this, and I've got to be all poshed up for that, so... Are you excited about Glastonbury? You're performing again? Yeah, fifth time this will be. I'm on the jazz stage. It's it's a wonderful thing. Scary as anything when you see the numbers of people. There. OK, here we go. <laughs> when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> You can count down. Oh, okay, five, four, three, two, one. Here, Here we go. go. Do you still play the didgeridoo? Do you I have do. one at home? Yeah, I've got about eight, ten. Can maybe. you, in five seconds, describe what the wobble board is? Yeah, it's a sheet of hardboard, very thin, perhaps a, a mil, two mil thick hardboard. It's about 30 inches by 15. It's got two little bits cut out at the end so your hands don't slip up and that's it and you bounce it up and down and go <laughs> and you emphasize every second <laughs> how tall are you I'm, i used to be five ten and a half five probably about five nine and a half as you get older you shrink you were a, I've a, heard. a junior exactly because you're sort of 79 going on 29 right <laughs> that's right <laughs> i can't believe i'm 79 Tell yeah. me, I want to know about the swimming, because you were a junior champion at backstroke in Australia when you were young. Yeah, Australian junior backstroke. I, I won it in Melbourne with the event record. 80 seconds it was for the 110 yards, as it was in those days. And the fellow that won it the following year did it in 76, and now they're doing it in about 49 or something seconds. And you think, but how do they keep getting better each year? You could do it in about 40 these days, couldn't you? I, I could probably get to one end <laughs> 55 yards in about 40 seconds maybe do you still swim a little bit not much i, I should do more because it's a great exercise but um, you didn't play cricket you're not going to talk about the no, ashes of me, it, are you? have you <laughs> <laughs> when you first came over to britain from australia it was just for a travel year well it was for a study year i was study going, to, year. going to go to art school i thought and become a famous portrait painter in about a year i thought and did you want to be a famous portrait painter painter in this country or were you going to go back to Australia? I just wanted to be a famous portrait painter, it didn't matter where, because my granddad was a portrait painter in Wales and I thought that's what I'd do. All my life I used to say as a little kid, my mum told me that I would say to people when they'd say, what are you going to be when you grow up? You know, and, oh, and when did the singing come in? Well, let, let me finish the Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I, was trying, <laughs> I was trying to keep the answers <laughs> short. Okay. No, no, I, I used to say I'm going to be an artist, and then I would add a postscript, and a good one. <laughs> so singing, I used to sing all the time anyway. I used to make lots of noises, and my dad was great at a uh, great comedy sense of humour, and he used to, if we were ever out at, at the pictures or something, and we'd be walking home, and he'd stop in the, in the middle of the night, and he'd say, listen to this, and he'd go... <laughs> And then you'd hear some poor benighted rooster over there would wake up and think, <laughs> it's very dark, but I must have missed it. So the rooster would go, <laughs> and then another one over there. <laughs> and you never look back. What, you, you do so many different things. What do you think your greatest talent is? Communication, I think. Do you have a tip for entertainers? Yeah. I was given a very good piece of advice when I first started by a lady called Hermione Gingold, who was the top cabaret artist in this country in the, in the 50s. And she saw me perform my first ever show, and she said afterwards, you never looked at me once. And I said, well, I didn't know who you... I hadn't been introduced to you, to you then. I didn't know who you were. And she said, no, you never looked at anybody. You were looking at a point on the wall above their heads... And what you're doing is you're giving them all permission to pay no attention to you at all because they know you're not talking to them. She said, unless you have the courage to meet people's eyes, you will never achieve your potential. Can I ask you about the Queen? Because you painted her for her 80th birthday. Yeah. What was she like as a sitter, as a she subject? She was just marvellous. She was very real and she put us all at ease. There was myself and the camera crew and various people from the BBC, about eight or nine of us in the room, and uh, she was charming, yeah, and we finished up chatting away as if we were very old and dear friends, known each other all our lives. Were you nervous when you sort of first oh, met her? 
I was nervous as anything waiting for the event to start. You know, we had to be there before 11 so that we could get in before the changing of the guard. And then the portrait sitting was to start at 2. So I had all that time to wait in the room up there with the butterflies in the stomach. We haven't got all that time left quickly. Oh, well, I want to talk about animals because Animal Hospital is a hugely successful show, award winning. Do you have pets yourself? Yeah. We've just lost a standard poodle, but we've got an old, uh, lovely old Weimarana dog. And uh, do you yeah, have a do you have cats. a favourite animal? Kangaroo. What are you talking about? <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rolf, the alarm hasn't gone off. Oh, what? I oh, know. Well, let's, we've, we've delayed it. We're five seconds out. But now, should we should we ring it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh.